Around the world, many thousands of plants grow organs that do not resemble leaves or flowers or fruits. These are not normal parts of the plant. Instead, they are the result of an ancient arms race between insect parasites, who are trying to build a home for themselves, and the plants, who are trying to thwart the insects. To make these homes, the insects inject substances that transform plant tissue into something new, essentially by reprogramming plant development to create what we call a gall. Galls provide nutrient-rich homes for insects. They provide protection from the elements and protection from predators. Nobody knows how insects make galls. It is as if the insects were miniature molecular biologists, controlling the cells of the plant to make beautiful homes for themselves. We have explored this phenomenon by studying small insects called aphids that make conical galls on witch hazel leaves. These galls are commonly called cone galls or witch cap galls, and they are abundant in the forests of the eastern United States. Early every spring, these tiny aphids attack swelling buds of witch hazel plants. Over several days, each aphid stakes out a small patch on the underside of the leaf. In this time-lapse video, which covers several days in the life of an aphid, she stands among the spiny trichomes and probes the young leaf with her microscopic mouthparts. As you can see in this cross-section of a young gall, the aphid winds the tip of her mouthparts around cells within the leaf until she locates her target, specific plant cells where she injects an unknown cocktail of salivary secretions that will slowly transform this patch of leaf into a gall. The aphid probes again and again, shifting slightly after each injection, finding new cells to inject. She rotates around in a single spot, seeming to trace out a circle of cells that will grow to enclose her. As we can see on the top of the leaf, the gall grows dramatically over the subsequent weeks. The aphid must continuously inject material to keep the gall healthy and growing. As the gall grows, making room for more aphids, the gall foundress will produce about 30 to 40 offspring. They will all feed on the inside of the gall until they reach maturity and leave the gall.